Hi friends, uh, welcome to all. Uh, today we will learn how to recover slash etc slash password file. In this file, our user information stored. User information stored. And as well as your, our system user also system users or apps user apps user information users also okay users okay suppose if it is corrupted okay if it is corrupted how we will restored if it is corrupted so we will do corrupt it manually if it's corrupted how we can restore it slash etc slash password file and we will learn second things we will learn here if shadow file slash it is a shadow file corrupted how we can recover here users users password information stored password information stored so we will learn how to store the slash etc slash shadow file also and third we will learn suppose if we forget the root password, how to recover the root password, we will learn these things in this lecture also in this video. So let's go for a lab. So right now I'm using a CentOS Linux 8. Uh, so same similar you can do for a RHL 8 also and CentOS 7 and RHL 7 also. So first we will corrupt the file uh, let me corrupt here um, ls hyphen l slash etc password file okay so what i will do i will move it from here to uh let me move etc password file let me move into a temp here okay so already it's there i'm overwriting here i have moved it here and let me Re, uh, remove or write that light directly. I can remove our first less etc shadow file. Okay, so okay, so we corrupted it. Okay, so it's not there. And let me log out here. Okay, so now I'm here. Let me try to log in. Is it I'm able to log in or not? So okay, so I can't log in because I have deleted both the files now. Okay, so how we can recover this? So let me restart it. Okay, so reset. Okay, so here you will see the option. I need to choose a first. Here you will see the kernel version information. So here is the kernel version information and I need to press E. I need to select first option where it is mentioned your kernel version and let me press E. Okay, so after that you got this screen and here we need to do a changing here. So I will make it RO RO means read only so I will make it a read write and this is the one changing and here I will remove RHGB quite and I will make it RD dot break okay so these two changings we need to do here okay so here RW means read write so earlier it was RO, RO means read only and I need to use a RD dot break and after that I now I need to press control hyphen X. Okay, I have pressed it control X.
okay now our system has been mounted here okay so i need to use a change root j so for a sys root so ch root ch root and slash sys root okay now i have accessed the shell here so first i need to recover a slash etc slash password file so i have a two choice here the first choice uh, when, uh slash etc slash password files having a two fi files okay so always having a two files okay slash etc slash password file and one more file is slash etc slash password hyphen so you will see this file will be there okay so this file so i will recover from this file okay so what i will do i will copy uh, this slash etc slash password hyphen uh, it is hyphen to as i will make it a slash etc slash password so this is a one way to recover second way suppose if both the files has been corrupted both corrupted so what is the uh, next option so here i need to copy from a uh, basic uh, users that is a required like a root we are required uh, from a good server so i need to uh, uh, need that entries here and manually i need to add uh, from a good servers all the users like pin or all this is system os system os required users so i need to manually i need to do the entries okay so let me show you here let me clear the screen Okay, so I will show you slash etc slash password. So here now you can see we have a file here. So I have a either uh, let me copy it. Uh, let me copy it slash etc password hyphen in here. Okay, so okay, so we have recovered it here. And here if let us check here uh, slash etc password and let me do head. Suppose if this is uh, it's both the files has been corrupted so what i need to do i need to do these and i need to take this entry from a good server from good server and need to do manual here and i need to do add manual need to add manual okay so like that we can recover and okay so now same as for a slash etc slash shadow file also so let me show you okay so etc shadow okay so here this file is also exist and you can see uh, i can recover from a, this file also okay so here the users entries are there but uh, suppose if i don't want to recover from this so i have a use i can use a pwd con command so what it will do it will generate a shadows file from a slash etc password file same users okay so let me generate uh, with this command now i am not using uh, slash etc slash shadow hyphen let me generate okay so i have i'm i have entered it now it's generated so let me check it so slash etc slash shadow now it's showing me and here you will see there is no password here so we will see all the password now we don't have password here so suppose uh, if we have a users here so now we don't have a choice i need to request for a users so they can um, this is your here these are the user is a test user for example test user 2 so we have a local user these are so i need to request these users to reset the password also or I need to reset the password because here I need to uh, give a password again and they can reset according to their wish here. So that is the also option or either uh, if I don't want, uh, we have a suppose slash etc shadow hyphen. So here I can recover if this file is exist. 
if above file exists so i don't need to uh, means i don't need to ask for user to uh, uh, reset i not uh, to reset, reset a password or change a password so it automatically it will take from a old files just so here so now we have created a new and let's set a new password for a root user at least okay so here password and i will make a one password okay i have given a password here okay now let's check it here again uh here let me do a head here so now uh, the password is stored here but it is in encrypted form we can't see here it is in encrypted form here dollar 6 means i am using a algorithm okay so we are using a sha512 algorithm so where you can see this information etc login dot depths okay so you will it will get that information says login dot apps file so where we can, we have defined a algorithm so dollar six means it it is encrypted with this algorithm okay so in this uh, system having a c linux is enabled so in this system if the ceiling uh, if the uh, server have a c linux enabled then we need to do a relabeling again and i need to create a file touch slash dot auto relabel okay so it will do a relabeling for a selenix purpose if selenix is enabled in your system so let me use because selenix is enabled in our system so let me create this file touch slash dot auto relabel okay so okay enter and now let me do a exit and let me do a logout from here So here you can see it is doing a auto relabeling here. You can see here it is using auto relabeling because we have used touch here. So, okay. So it's taking a time to, it will take your auto relabeling for all the file system here. Now you can see all the file system here done here. So it is here auto relabeling. Here, it's doing a relabeling here for a C Linux. If you don't use, for example, if you are not using your C Linux is enabled, then it will not reset your password. So you need to follow this step, it must be. Okay, so now system has been rebooted automatically. Okay, so.
okay now we got a login prompt and let's verify with a new password okay i am able to log in perfectly okay so okay so successfully we have recovered we have recovered password file slash uh, slash etc slash password file and shadow file also and we have successfully re reset the reset the root password also let's verify the uh, slash etc slash password file also so ls hyphen l slash etc password file so now you can see it is recovered and uh, let me check slash etc shadow so here also so let me check the uh, users here slash etc password so all the users are same uh, that we have recovered and let me see the slash etc slash shadow file and let me check here so here so only uh, you can see we have only root root having a password and others users don't have any password so here because we have uh, generated a new file that was the reason here only root having a only root having a password here and others users we have we have a other system user that we don't have here so here so it is encrypted here dollar six means it is using a sha512 algorithm to algorithm to store a password to encrypt a password so let me show you here others user we don't have any password so here so here we don't have any password okay. please let me know if you have any queries or concern you can comment so i will respond <clears throat> thank you so much thanks for watching